<laughs> really? No? Really. I mean, it's fascinating how the atom molecular structure can be split by a 50 degree angle, especially when being applied with less than 10 degrees Fahrenheit. You are such a nerd. That's why he's stuck in the forensics lab while you and I are out in the field. Captain Fry, I'm glad your wife allowed you to attend. Oh, she persisted, but I managed. Hello, Barry. Captain. Come now, Barry. I may be your captain when at the office, but outside of work, call me Daryl. Will do, sir. Well, enjoy the party. I just figured I'd say hello to a familiar face. What was that about? What do you mean? The captain acted really friendly around you. Yeah, mainly because the night my mother died, he was the one to take me under his roof. Oh, Barry. Sorry. I had no idea. No need to apologize. You didn't know. I'll just go get some refill. <laughs> Wait. All right, you know what this is. That's right, it's a hostage situation. Currently, you are all our hostages. So as of this moment, you are under the reign of the Intergang. Barry, no. Move it along. Hold it right there. Patty, ah. what the hell, Snart? Chill out, it's only one girl. A girl cop. And thanks to you with your trigger happy finger, she's dying. We have to help her. Barry, you need to listen to me. If you go over there, you'll end up just like her. Do you think Patty would have wanted that? You're right. I'm sorry. We don't need the heat. Well, now we have it. We need to stop talking about it. But Patty! Pat! Can you hear me? Stay cool, kid. Sorry for your loss, Barry. I'm sorry for your loss, son. I wish you didn't have to see this. I didn't. My mom told me to cover my eyes. That's good. Very smart of her. And do you mind showing me how you did that? That's very good. The boy covered his eyes. Hopefully it wasn't too traumatizing. Daryl, if the kid covered his eyes with his hands, then how did he cover his ears? You waited longer than I expected. Iris, what are you doing here? I should be asking you the same thing. Aren't you off duty? No, yeah, not yeah. Barry, not this again. You know it's not good when you stress yourself conducting theories on how to solve a murder when you already know the answer. That case is already closed. Besides, it's not why I'm here. Then, why are you here? I watched Patty die, just like my mother. I never felt so helpless ever since that night, until now. Barry, there was nothing you could have done. Maybe. Hey, don't beat yourself up over it. I know it must be hard, but you just need to head home and get some rest. Life goes on, even after somebody dies. You're right, I'll do that, but I need to finish up here first. <sighs> Fine, do your science geek project and then head home. I worry about you, Barry. You don't have to. I should be fine. If you say so. Huh. Sounds like a thunderstorm. Henry! Sticking Barry in a public school isn't going to help lower our tax income. Oh, come on, Norm. Private school, public school, what's the difference? Uh, Barry's made friends. He'll make new ones. Why are you fighting? Barry, what are you doing up so late? I heard you two shouting and came to see you. Ah! Barry, cover your eyes, don't look! Get away from my wife! Ah! Hello? What, what is this? Oh, hello doctor, I was... 
Hello? What's happening? Anybody hear me? Am I dead? I need to find a mirror. Whoa, since when did I grow this? Please, sir. Tell me you see or hear me. Please. This isn't funny. Uh, oops. Welcome back, Barry. Good to be back. Hey, uh, have you seen Captain Frey? Where else would he be? He's in the office yelling at the rookies. That means no! Captain? Barry? Ah, now there's the golden boy. Alan has more talent in his pinky than all of you combined within this room. Now get out! I wouldn't say that. I certainly would. Do you have any idea how many cases we had to close unsolved after you went into your coma? Yeah, about that. The doctors say I was struck by lightning? You most certainly were. Gave us quite the scare. Not as much as it scared Iris, though. I'm sure she's relieved now that you're back. Uh... You didn't tell Iris. I kind of forgot with, I don't know, being struck by lightning and waking up months later from a coma? I get it. But you need to tell her. Now? Yes, now! Okay, I guess I'll... Daryl? Oh, not this again. Well? Go! Huh? What? I... Okay. I wonder if that lightning fried my brain and gave me some sort of trauma. Welcome back, viewers. I'm Iris West from Picture News, reporting in with a beautiful news for our beautiful day. Danville homeowners have recently been aided with a new... Oh my god! Barry? Cut. <laughs> hey, what's the hug for? What's the hug for? Barry, I saw you almost lifeless in a coma. Your heart stopped so many times, I... Iris, calm down. My heart's fine. I'm fine. See? Yeah, this is such good news. I'll just have... Miss West, we have a shooting schedule to follow. Oh, right. Sorry. Barry, can we meet up at Jitters later tonight? Sure. Just text me when you're done here. Awesome. It's good to see that you're okay. We have breaking news! We have to go live right now! What? What is it? Robbery downtown. The authorities are setting up a perimeter as we speak. They'll probably want me there. Right. Whoa, whoa! What the? Whoa! This is amazing! But how? Okay. Let's see what I can really do. Whoa! I want all exits covered. Somebody find a means of communications with them now! We can call the landline. Then do it! Whoa! Don't worry, you're safe. I, uh, I appreciate the grand precaution, but things have been dealt with here. Come on in, you'll find the civilian is safe along with the knocked out intergang members. Wait, what? Who are you? Hello? Are you there? No escape this way. Nice try, but this way is off limits too. Oh my, looks like you caught me. Whatever will I do now? Maybe share with the CCPD what my capturer's facial features look like? And what would you gain from that? Leave the bluffs to me. You're not very good at it. Your face says it all. You're afraid of them knowing it was you who sped to the rescue. So, what do you say we part ways and forget this ever happened? Fine. Wonderful. Stay cool, kid. Hi, Dad. Barry? My boy. It's been so long since I last saw you. It has. And I'm sorry for that. I've been neglecting things lately. It's, it's okay. I want you to be your own man and have your own life. That's why I told you to give up that case. The case, yeah. A recent one brought back some memories of that night with Mom and you. It was... What happened? I know that look. Patty. She, uh, she died, Dad. Barry, I'm so sorry. Don't be. It wasn't your fault. And neither was Mom's murder. Don't tell me that's why you're here. You're not reopening the case, are you? Not now, no. Not without good evidence. But some things happened recently that made me remember that night. The one specific thing I remembered. The lightning inside. Barry, what are you getting yourself into? <laughs> Nothing crazier than what can already happen, Dad. After all, I do work for the police department. Speaking of police, one of the first things you notice about them 
their uniforms stands out the most. The bright color is the symbol of justice. And what else do you notice? Their badge. My badge.